morning. Well, it's actually 11 a.m., but I think I'm going to make some nice cream. So that means with frozen bananas. These are some bananas that I bought like back in January and then like we put them in Ziploc bags and kind of like my boyfriend, he blew out the air out of them. Anyways, they're still pretty frozen. So I'm going to be like chopping them up into like dime sized pieces and then adding some cacao powder um, to make chocolate nice cream. And um, you have to add a little bit of water, like depending on what blender you have, because I use a Nutribullet and um, I don't have a Vitamix. And so I have to add a little bit of water just to get it going. I'm going to use these two bananas. They look a little freezer burnt though. Anyways. And chop off that little piece. Yes. Don't mind me as I use this humongous knife. Anyways. Yeah, so if you just chop them into small pieces like this, it makes it a lot easier on your blender to blend things. So I've added a little bit of water just to about there and then I'm gonna blend it up and um, see if it blends up well enough. It would help if I plugged it in. Don't judge me, I don't know how to use this. We got a new blade and like cup thing recently. Shake it. This is kind of a decent consistency, but as you can see, they're still frozen bananas. I haven't decided if I want to add more water yet because when you do add too much water, then it becomes like really liquidy and runny. So as you can see, like when it's got that cool texture like that, that's when it's like blending well for the Nutribullet and yeah, it makes a good consistency for the ice cream. So I'm just going to add the cacao powder now. It smells like bananas. So I'm going to do two tablespoons. Nice and chocolatey. So I always do that afterwards because otherwise the cacao powder is all going to be like on the bottom. bottom. Yes. And it's basically as simple as that. Just took me a few minutes. And then you can add it to a bowl and add like whatever berries or nuts or whatever you want. So it's kind of like a soft serve ice cream when you make it this way. And don't forget to scrape under the blade. There's always like quite a bit under the blade. So you like... Don't judge my skills. And then I have blackberries that I washed. So this is a giant handful, at least compared to my hand. And voila, nice cream time. Oh yeah, that's really good. It's nice. If you like the dark, like rich taste of cocoa powder or cacao powder, really good. If you want a little bit sweeter, then add something like agave syrup or maple syrup or vanilla extract or something like that. But I think this tastes pretty good. It does have a bit of a banana flavor too to it still. But I found the cacao powder kind of covers it up for the most part. So if you hate bananas then this really isn't the recipe for you but if you do and you're looking for something healthier to try then give this a try and play around with it like you can mix up blackberries or blueberries or strawberries with it instead or you can mix up vanilla if you want like a vanilla flavored one just play around with it. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you in my next video. Veg, peace and love. Till next time, guys.